Um, I just want to open with a practice statement. We've been practicing now for eight days. Uh, we've got 22 to go until we play our first uh, real game. Uh, scrimmage and exhibition are included in those 22. I'm really excited about our team. Uh, we have everybody back. Um, we're healthy for the first time probably in uh, many years. Um, and we've got a lot of depth, and I'm excited about the season. All right, we're going to, uh, at this time, take some questions from the on-site audience. While listening to the questions being asked, those on the phone can press 14 to join in the queue to ask a question or to withdraw a question, press 13. So we're going to start here with uh, Jimmy Durkin of San Jose Mercury News. Yeah, Coach, second year for you guys now. Um, you had, had, some, had some stuff to build off last year. You, know, you guys were kind of in the middle of the pack in the conference and, and uh, you know, got some big wins. You know, what do you guys have to do to, to kind of take the next step, get to the next level, and you know, be competing in, in the upper half of the conference for, for titles and all that kind of stuff? Um, first off, we have to be consistent both at home and on the road. Um, we are a great home team last year. We could compete against anybody in the conference. We have to be able to take our act on the road. Uh, and we need to take you know, the home games, we need to win them, split on the roads, compete for a championship. Um, we started something a year ago and we need to finish it this season. Uh, Coach Alex Scott from the Spartan Digital Network and 90.5 KSJS. Uh, Ellie Stevens, my, my lad, Allie Betancourt, and Naira Harris, part of a big recruiting class. Do you see them contributing right away, or do you want to ease them into your game plan for this season? No, all four will help uh, immediately. The style of play that we play, we have to have depth. I want to play you know, 10 deep. We'll play 13 if we can. Um, Nairi Harris we don't have for the first seven to eight games uh, due to transfer rules. Hopefully we'll get her back by Davis, but at the latest USF. Um, but all of those four people will contribute greatly to us. I'm very excited. They fit in. Um, they know how to play the way we want to play, and they're able to compete at this level. Coach Dan Rica, where do you feel your team is in terms of preparation for this season as compared to this time last year? Um, considering I think I was just on my first day, uh, probably this time a year ago, uh, my team is, is much more settled. I think they know what my expectations are. Um, I'm familiar with their strengths. Um, obviously, a year ago, I was still trying to learn their names. Um, we've had a tremendous offseason the summer. We put in some great work. Uh, I'm excited about where they are after eight practices, and I'm excited for the next 22 opportunities before we go and play against Utah. Marcus Colonna, um, Sharice, um, you were injured in the team's first practice last year uh, and missed the whole season. Where are you in rehab, and will you be ready when the season starts? Um, as far as rehab, I'm fully cleared, and I've completed the rehab process. Um, it was a year on October 5th, so things are going good. I'm in practice, uh, full contact and everything, and by our first game, I'll be ready to compete. Coach, you hired uh, Dan Muscatel, and it's the third time you guys have worked together. What lessons and strategy from the game has he taught you, and what does his experience bring to this group of San Jose State players? Uh, Coach Muscatel helped me tremendously as a player uh, at my time in Oregon when he was on staff there. Um, I also worked for him at Sacramento State as his associate head coach. Um, you know, I worked the offense, he worked the defense. It's a similar thing now. Uh, he's going to he's going to specialize in our half court defense, our matchup zone. We're going to run. Um, he's he's been working for the Guru of Go at Oregon, Paul Westhead, and some of the things we do are similar to what they were trying to do at Oregon. Um, but most importantly, he's someone I can trust and lean on. He's very loyal to me. Um, he will do anything he can to help our program grow. It's nice to have a familiar face around. You know, for both Becca and Sharice, uh, you guys last year at this time were trying to just learn you know, Coach's style, and obviously she likes to go fast, and, and it's a very up-tempo uh, game. Uh, you know, now a year in, how, how more comfortable are you guys uh, playing her style and, and how much does that help you that you kind of had a year under that system and, and now you're getting ready for year two? Um, well, having a year under our belts really helps us. Um, we've been able to adjust to the system and when we run plays and we run our offense, there's no thinking. We just go. And with our defense, um, it's the same thing. We're just able to go. So. Um. As far as me, because I didn't actually play and uh, run the things that Jamie brought to San Jose State, I think being able to watch, I was able to see what she was trying to accomplish with the team and like the execution and things like that and going fast, I was able to see what she wanted. So I could hopefully apply that this year. Jeff Bermudez um, for Becca Woodbury. Last year you set the San Jose single season three point 